In this case, we're going to talk about your standard TI basic mode and how high and low sensitivity affects you and affects the victim and how you see things. A friend of mine who I taught to begin with, who's now teaching others, he does a phenomenal job. His name is Joe DeVito. I quote him on this. Uh, him and this guy here, Joey Hayes, are two salt of the earth great guys. He says this, if your tick changes modes, so should your tactics. Think about that. If I'm down on one knee looking into a fire environment and my camera's in low sensitivity and I'm two foot off the floor, what kind of environment is the victim in? You know, at least 300 plus. So I'm not saying don't go. I'm saying you need to fix it. Do something about it. Whereas if your camera's in high sensitivity, you might get away with walking or staying high, as Joe says. But if your tick's in low sensitivity, you should be low and doing something to fix it. Don't ignore it. Half the time when I debrief firefighters after close calls involving thermal imaging cameras, which I've done two in the last month where firefighters were burned, I asked them, what mode was your camera in? And what do you mean? I said, was it in high or low sensitivity? The answer I got was, I don't know what you're talking about. So in other words, one of which I saw lots of convection currents blasting the firefighters and they were burned. The other one, the camera wasn't even raised up and the camera's pointing at the floor and they crawled through the fire room and got an adjacent room and the window failed and that room flashed. When the camera was pointing at the floor, the floor was red on the FLIR K55. Red on the floor, which means it's at least 900 degrees. And they had no idea. They crawled right through it. So if we don't teach our firefighters how to use these things, we're actually the ones at fault. 